Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is game day, and wow, you know, this is the last preseason game. We are literally less than two weeks away from the kickoff of the 2022 season. Man, I'm so glad that it's here. The Cowboys, of course, you know, we have a, a little bit of a hole that that we're in. You know, we're starting um, a little bit under the gun. You know, we do have an injury. But like in 2016 when we lost Tony Romo, I am not giving up. And anybody who tells you differently that I am literally throwing in the towel don't know me because, you know what, my life has been <laughs> – it's funny that I'm still alive, to be quite honest with you. I have always beaten the odds on almost anything and everything that I do. In fact, the fact that I'm even sitting here today on the day that we actually hit 46,000 subscribers. It dropped down. It dropped back down below. A couple of y'all probably said, let's play some games with it. But that's cool. We're still right there at that magic 46,000 number, which is um, amazing to me. But I was sitting here last night, you know, I did a couple of live streams yesterday. Shout out to Primetime Phil and Brian Green just getting started in the YouTube. Uh, they're going to be doing a live stream tomorrow that they want me to join them tomorrow night at 8. And I hope you guys join in and stuff because they've got some great insight and things. And that's the great thing about all of the YouTubers out there. You know, some of them like me, some of them don't. Uh, you know, and that that's cool. Uh, nobody has to like anything and everything. But I guarantee you that there is a YouTuber that's a Dallas Cowboy content creator that is your style, whether it is you like screaming, hollering, and cussing people out, and MFs, this, that, and the other. Yeah, that, there's, there, there's a channel there for you. If you like film breakdown, there's a channel for you. If you like an old ass out there, you know, covered in dust and dirt, there's a channel out there for you. So I was sitting here thinking about, um, Tyron Smith's injury, which was kind of a freak injury, and started thinking about what transpired the day before. And the day before, you'll remember everybody talking about the incredible move that Micah Parsons made on Tyron Smith in practice. And I started thinking about that, and I went back and I was looking at the clip of that move. Unfortunately, the clip has a spot where it gets a little bit fuzzy in there, but I took it, I, I, I re-recorded it, I slowed it down, and started really looking at it. And I'm curious, or I'm wondering, and, and not that it matters at this point or not, but on that play, it looks like Tyron Smith is already not using that left leg much. He literally, on the play against Micah Parsons, there's only three steps in there. And it looks kind of awkward, and it looks like it's kind of tight. And I wonder if that was the beginning of this leg giving out. You know, Tyron Smith has been an absolute warrior. He wears a, a knee brace on the right leg. He's got the, you know, the elbow brace, which is really a knee brace because his arm's so big. You know, you're almost feeling like Tyron Smith is beginning to look like a cyborg out there and, you know, where they've been putting his body back together. But I want you to look at this. And, and like I said, I've, I've got it cut three different ways, okay? This is the first cut of it is actually at real time, real speed, okay? And this is, you see where it gets a little foggy. So you see 77, and unfortunately it kind of gets a little bit jacked up in there from the cell phone camera. But you see Tyron Smith, you know, he's not grabbing it, but let's, he plants it right there, okay? And from that point, Okay, and I know it's fuzzy. I know it's fuzzy. But Micah Smith, I mean, Micah Parsons is, you know, moving on Tyron Smith and spinning around. And it doesn't seem like Tyron Smith is doing anything with his legs. And see, as an offensive lineman, you're always taught to keep your legs moving so that way you can counteract it. And he looks like he's almost kind of robot like walking there. And let's look at it again one more time. This is actually really slow. See Tyron Smith's legs there. Ball snapped. He steps with the left. He plants on it. It kind of jolts just a little bit. You see the ball going in Dak's hand. Now you got the second step. He's right there. You see it kind of go a little bit 
a little bit there, boom. And from that point, Micah Parsons just zoop. And you see him kind of twisting. His body is kind of twisted kind of awkwardly. They're trying to keep up with it. And then he holds on to Micah for dear life. Now, again, I I can't say for certainty that that's what happened, if that was the beginning of it. But Tyron Smith is not a rookie. He knows that your feet have to keep chopping so that way you can move. You know, your feet are moving. You don't go from a dead stand where I'm just kind of leaning onto you. You're chopping your feet so that way I can move left to right wherever I need to in there. And as I'm watching that, it doesn't quite look like Tyron Smith. He looks like he is kind of not not quite the, the Tyrannosaurus that we know. He just does not quite look like he's moving like he normally would have. And Micah just leaves him flat-footed. So my question is, was Micah just that fast? Or were we already looking at Tyron Smith, who was already beginning to slow down? That was not any kind of move by Tyron Smith at all. Tyron Smith was literally, I'm just trying to grab and hold on. And you see him kind of going a little bit to the left there, putting a lot of weight on it, and then he just kind of lets him go and he's holding on to it. You know, and and the sad thing is, is Tyron Smith is not that old, but in football... Your body only has so many hits that it can take, so much wear and tear. And being an offensive lineman or defensive lineman, that position is literally, it's war. It's like being in a car crash every play. You know, if you've never been an offensive or defensive lineman, you don't understand the collisions. You know, these guys come Monday after a game, some of them can't get out of bed. The amount of pain pills, the amount of ice whirlpools, the pain medication, the shots, the surgery, your body just is not meant to do these things. And that's why, you know, I don't applaud people being injured. I don't, you know, hey, yeah. No, I mean, you know, I'll I'll talk about a team not having players and, you know, we've got a break because, you know, they've lost some players left to right. But I'm not wishing that people go out. When my team beats you, I want to beat you at full strength so there's no excuses. But, you know, it's it's going to be tough. Make no mistake about it. The team is a better team with a healthy Tyron Smith. Unfortunately... We don't see a healthy Tyron Smith much anymore. So I hope you guys join us tonight. We'll be live streaming uh, starting 730 for the Cowboys preseason finale. Uh, Definitely going to keep a close eye on Will Will Greer, as well as a lot of players that are trying to do their best to make sure that they make this roster. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I hope you're having a good Friday, and I will see you guys soon.